What's going on guys, you're here with Nate28 and this is Crossbeats Production. Now I want to show you guys a quick little tip on how to make your sounds, more or less your drum sounds, or actually any sound for that matter, to sound more vintage and more like the older kind of equipment that might have um, been around in the 80s, you know, 90s, that kind of thing. Um, you know, this, this little uh, plug-in here, it's called Decimort 2. There was, as far as I know, there was number one. Obviously, there's number two now, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, so this this plugin, basically, what it is, it's a resample. So it pretty much resamples the the actual signal that's going into it. It's got a signal path which it uses. Um, I don't want to get too much into that that part of it, but what I wanted to explain to you was how to get your sounds to sound more vintage and and what I kind of do. Um, this plugin right now is on special as well. So if you're looking for this plugin, it's on the um, the D16 webpage, and it's called Decimort 2. I came across this plugin a little while ago, and I kind of fiddled around with it for a bit. I just wanted to show you guys tips on how you can make your sounds sound more, you know, custom and and make them original as well. Um, so just a, a quick brief preview of this and what I've got. First off, I set up a, you know, like a, a loop with my drums here. I've got these drums that I played out of machine and they're out of a Compton kit if you ever want to hear where they came from. Um, that's where they came from. So what I did was I'll just play these drums out to you and I'll show you how I use this plug in here to make it sound more vintage. And it's actually got a setting here for ASR10, which if you're familiar with an ASR10, it was a sort of a synth, uh, believe a modular synthesis or resampler and it and it could resample and I know producers like Jake One use this exact um, ASR10 they, they make all their beats on that and Pro Tools and other things but um, it has a unique kind of sound and the sample uh, the sampler inside of it um, had a sort of unique kind of sound and characteristic to it as well and that sound is what some people chase especially when they're making like boom bap sort of beats and things like that um, that's the kind of sound that they're looking for so let me just play this uh, beat out to you I'll play it without the decimort on there and then I'll play it with it and you guys can listen to the difference that it makes it's very minute but it is characteristics that you're chasing sometimes okay so I'll play that out to you now All right, so that's the basic loop of the, the track that I'm starting to make here. Now, this Decimal plugin, I'll just get that up on here and I'll put the little pill in there so it stays. And I'll play it with it on and off and you can hear the difference. And then I'll just play around with some of the settings that it's got in there as well and I'll show you what difference it, it makes on the track. So let me just get straight into it. So what I did there was I was just playing around the preamp and the output volume trying to regulate that. Now I was driving the signal through this sampler or resampler I should say and there is on the website there's a manual on how this thing works and it tells you about how the the signal path goes through that resampler and it's um, sent through there and that resampler quantizes it obviously to this um, this frequency or that sorry the yeah well the resampler frequency that it's using so these frequencies here that you see on the side they're actually um, sample frequencies that you would get um, even I believe that 22 Hertz was a radio frequency that they used a little while ago in Japan or something like that for FM radio 
Um, and there's 11 hertz as well, which was another frequency. I'm not too sure with the below the 44 hertz frequency and the 2.7. I'm sure that they're just figure frequencies in between those uh, frequencies. So obviously, the more that you turn the frequency down, it down samples that and um, it, it creates more of a distortion effect. Uh, so let me just play that to you with that on there. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> So kind of like, you know, the Space Invaders kind of sound that you get, really distorted audio distortion happening there. Um, it's got a lot of other features that you can use it for, and I don't want to go too far in depth with this, but I want to show you how you can make your sound sound more vintage and just, you know, messing around with this plugin, it, it definitely gives you some characteristics to your sound if you're looking for that kind of uh, style of sound. So, you know, it's got a low pass, a high bypass, uh, sorry, band pass, um, high pass filter, and I need to look up the manual to see what that is. I'm sure it's something to do with by. I don't know what it's called again. Anyway, I'll look into that again, and uh, you can you can look it up yourself. Anyway, it's got a wet wet dry feature there, so obviously you can mix in wet and dry. And um, this uh, resonation or reson reso filter there, it's obviously just creating a resonation on the um, or a reso filter, which is basically where the filter peaks up in a certain area. Um, that creates that, and obviously if you shut that down. <laughs> Um, it gives you a different characteristic to the sound as well. Obviously, they've set this setting here for ASR10 because that's what they came across, I believe, when they made that setting there. That's the sound that ASR10 has. And if you look into a spectrum on a EQ, you can see how the different sounds, like say for example, this bass exciter there. It's more low end, kind of top end stuff taken off. As you can see, the cutoff is a lot lower there, so they're cutting off a lot of the, um, the top end there. And they've got other other presets. Go demo this. This is what I've done here to use this. But more or less, this video is just to show you how to get your sounds to sound more vintage if that's the kind of style that you're looking for. And I hope this is informative to you guys. And peace.